All right, guys, it's me. I'm back as a tycoon with another three minute review being brought straight to you. This is me going back to doing an experiment that I've done last year. And um, it's basically going to be of a series on a week by week basis. Uh, last year I've done She Hulk. This year I'm doing Secret Invasion. Um, now, Secret Invasion is following, it's taking a slightly different approach to what we've normally used to with Marvel. Which is a lot of comedy, a lot of action, you know, 450 kicks in 20 seconds, that kind of thing. And this has taken a slightly different approach. And this is now a bit more dramatic, it's a bit more sinister, more serious, um, because of what is happening. And it's following from the secret inv you know, invasion storyline set in Marvel Comics, where the scrolls came to, you know, came to planet Earth and basically done a whole lot of imposturing including the Avengers and putting themselves into positions of power uh, and no one knew who the scrolls actually were um, or you know if, if the people that were actually uh, they were impersonating were the real people and this storyline is following a similar uh, sort of uh, storyline thread um, the invasion of the body snatchers kind of thing uh, where the paranoia is there and there's only one guy to stand in the middle of the way which is Nick Fury so Nick Fury has come back from his time out in space after the blip uh, and you can tell that he's not the same Nick Fury before you know the events of uh, Avengers Infinity War um, he's now a much changed guy and yes He's portraying that he's older too. But is that actually Nick Fury or is it a life model decoy like you've seen in the comics before Original Sin? Um, we're yet to find out. But it's following on from the scrolls, and now what you've got is a terrorist splinter group within the skulls. Uh, and they are looking to take over and they're doing a lot of terrorist attacks as well because they want to take over the Earth. Uh, just basically so that they can reset themselves as the dominant race and uh, where they've put themselves into positions of power uh, it's quite interesting there's no denying it it's taken a completely different tone it's not as comedic and yeah it's something that is going to be a bit of a slow burn but it's great to see Samuel Jackson back in again uh, Ben Mendelsohn and uh, you know some new characters uh, with a really good plot twist at the end of this show not spoilers but let me know what you think in the comments um if you're on tiktok or youtube like follow subscribe and if you don't know how to do that then you'll need to go back to school so says the tycoon